Okay, so let's have a look at how these um, uh, parametric equations are dealt with um, when it comes to differentiating. So EG18, a curve is the parameter, parametric equations x equals t squared and y equals 2t. Well, we've already met this. Um, to define dy dx in terms of the parameter t. So we differentiate each with respect to t. So dx dt is 2t and dy dt is 2. And then we know from the chain rule that dy dx would be dy d something times the d something dx. And whatever the somethings are, as long as they're the same variable, they'll to all intents and purposes cancel, giving you um, dy dx. In our case, that extra variable is t. So we've got dy dx is dy dt times dt dx. Well, dy dt I know is 2. dt dx would be that. Okay, so dt dx would be the reciprocal of that, which would be 1 over 2t, basically turning uh, both sides of it upside down. So therefore, dy dx is going to be dy dt, which is 2, times 1 over 2t. 2s will cancel. So dy dx is 1 over t. So that's part one. Part two, the equation of the tangent to the curve uh, at the point where t equals three. Right, so from the work that we did um, earlier, we know that what we've got here is a graph that's doing this. And at the point where t equals three, we want to know the equation of the tangent. So if we've got a general point on that curve, we want the equation of the tangent. Now the general point on that curve would be x coordinate comma y coordinate, except we've got that in terms of x coordinate t squared, y coordinate 2t. So there's the point where the tangent is. I've got the gradient in terms of t, so the equation of the line would be y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So that's the equation of the line that you met in AS. So at p, it will be y minus 2t, the y coordinate is the general um, expression 2t. m is the gradient. x is the variable minus t squared is the x1. So the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point where t equals 3. So that's my general equation of the tangent. So you could put a different value of t in there. It would move p around the curve and create a different equation of the tangent. Um, so when t equals 3, it will be y minus 2 lots of 3 equals 1 over 3 x minus 3 squared. So y minus 6 equals 1 third x minus 9. Multiply throughout by 3 to get rid of the third. So we get 3y equals that. And then I can have the 3y, bring the x over, bring that 18 over the other side. You'd have 18 minus 9. So you'd have 3 minus x, sorry, 3y minus x equals 9. If they don't specify the format of the equation, you can have it like that, you can have it all on one side, it doesn't matter, as long as you've evaluated everything. 
So that's part three, uh, sorry, part two, and then part three, uh, where we've already done this in the previous uh, question by eliminating the parameter, find the Cartesian equation of the curve. So if I call that equation one, that equation two, from two, t is y over two, in one, x equals y squared over four, um, so y squared equals four x. Okay, so that's eg eighteen.